and welcome to Cooking with Vito. Today we are going to prepare a turmeric vegetable rice with uh, salmon and uh, a shirazi salad. And first we're going to cook the rice. And to do that, I already have the stove heated and I'm going to add one teaspoon of coconut oil. And this is the cold press one, so that's why it looks like this. And once that's melted, I'm going to add one tablespoon of mustard seed. And from the first pop of the mustard seed, I'm going to add one tablespoon of turmeric. And you want to add it soon as it starts popping because if you've ever made popcorn before in a pot, it just splatters all over the place. And it's popping. So to that, I'm going to put the rice. See, I already lost a couple of seeds. Some already popped out. And I'm going to mix this all together. So this is a cup and a quarter rice. And I have two fresh bay leaves. And if you can't find fresh bay leaves, um, the dry one is fine also. I'm just going to mix that all up. And this is three cups of vegetable broth. I'm put all that in there. And stir this. And as soon as it starts boiling, I'm just going to turn the stove down and low and cover it and till all the liquid is gone and the rice is cooked. We should take about 25-30 minutes. Okay, so while the rice is cooking, it's uh, boiling now, so I just covered it and moved it to a smaller side of the stove. We're going to do the salmon. And for the salmon, this has been seasoned about 30 minutes now and it's just in my green herbal seasoning mix but you can season your salmon however you like and to do that to prepare the salmon I'm gonna put this is warm already I'm gonna put one tablespoon of coconut coconut oil And this is the, as I said, this is the cold pressed coconut oil. It's almost done. It's kind of runny now. And then we're going to put some salmon slices. So we don't want to like cook it all the way through, we just want it to get a low color. And then we're going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes on 375. So it's been about 2 minutes, so we're going to just turn it and see how it looks. So. And, okay, so this is kind of what we want it to look like. We're just going to flip it. And I forgot to mention with the mustard seed, if you have like a bulk selection in your store, you still can do that if this is not something that you use on a regular basis. That way you don't spend too much money because bulk I paid a dollar ten for this much mustard seed and bulk. And the same with the turmeric. If you can find it in bulk, this is this was 75 cents. This is a lot cheaper than buying the big bottle if it's, it's something you're not going to use uh, on a regular basis. Okay, so it's about another two minutes, so let's see. Okay, this looks perfect. And this is what you want it to look like. You don't want it to stick all the way. And I'm just going to rest this in here. Nice. 
it still needs a little cooking in there. And we're going to pop that in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes. So. Okay, so the next thing we're going to prepare is the Shirazi salad. And it's quite easy and very tasty. And for that, we just need a couple of ingredients. And the main one is cucumbers and tomatoes. And this is how I do the cucumbers. It's already pe washed and peeled. You just slice it along, cut it in half and slice it like this. It's a couple of slices, maybe four times on each half. So you just cut it up in cubes. have one cut up and just put it in here and then the tomato I just cut it in half and I cut it along like this Okay, so we have uh, cucumbers and tomatoes, and to that we're going to add some red onions, already chopped up, and then we're going to put juice from one lime, some chopped mint, and some ground pepper. Always taste it and add salt, more salt if needed. And about three tablespoons of olive oil. goes really well with the rice and the salmon and speaking of salmon you don't have to use salmon you can use any type of fish that you like um, you can also use I guess beef I've never tried it with chicken but beef goes really well with it too and any other fish that you like if you don't like salmon and that smells so good and that's it and you just cover it and put it in the refrigerator until time to serve. It's really nice if it's a little chill so you can make it ahead and put it in a refrigerator to chill. So that's it. So now we're going to finish up the rice and to do that we have we're going to put one tablespoon of coconut oil and this is gotten a little too hot, so I'm just going to remove that. And this is three crushed garlic. And once that gets brown, this back here. So we're going to add half a cup of onion. Yeah. 
squash. We're going to add it. This is some butternut squash, some regular squash, carrots, and celery. Pour that in here. We're not going to cook it for very long, just for like a minute or two. And to that, we're going to add some peppers and um, scallions. And these uh, sweet peppers, they're um, a little different from your regular bell peppers. I just like to use peppers that are in season that you don't get um, all through the year. And I'll put the name and the... Um, type of peppers on the list of ingredients. And you don't have to use so many vegetables. If you don't like vegetables, you can use whatever kind of vegetables you like. These are what I like. So. And then we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce and some pepper. And it really doesn't need any salt because the soy sauce has salt and then it, the rice is already cooked in the vegetable broth. So, we're going to put any extra salt in it. And then as that's done, I'm going to add the rice. And just remove the bay leaves from the rice. Okay, this is what the rice looks like. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. We're going to turn this off because the rice is already cooked. And we don't want this too mushy, that's all cooked. I have a quarter cup of lentils. And you can use whatever kind of beans you like. You don't have to use lentils. I like lentils. And then we're going to add the rice. And just mix it all in. There you go. Okay. Mm, this one's good. Mm, use that. That's it. So I'm gonna grab this salmon and put it all together and show you what it looks like. So it smells really good. Okay, so we're all done and this is what everything looks like. It smells really delicious. And I already tasted it, sorry. And it tastes really good and I'm ready to eat. So I just wanna say thanks for tuning in and um, if you like what you see today, just uh, leave a comment or any questions. It's a very simple, healthy, and very tasty dish to make, and I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching, and enjoy. Have a good one.